In a recent meditation, I received this message from the sunflower about what happens when we turn our back to the sun, that is to gratitude, to trust, to awe, to the present moment, and are instead constantly looking to the past and future for possible traps and dangers. For this journey, I invite you to sit comfortably, eyes closed, and just allow the words to wash over you, trusting that they will reach whatever part of you is needing to hear them. Message from the Sunflower. Always move towards the sun and light. Reach towards your highest vibration. In this, your body, heart, and intuition will be your guide. Your mind, on the other hand, is the anti-sunflower. It keeps you turning towards the familiar darkness of the past or towards fear thoughts of the future, even when beauty and opportunity are right in front of you, your mind is looking back into the darkness, searching for all the possible threats and pitfalls, all the reasons you shouldn't trust. It isn't safe. While it is trying to protect you, it's actually keeping you trapped in a small, fearful place that no longer fits you. It's back to the light. Your sunflower spirit is shriveled and undernourished. While your back is singed by the sun's rays, which only serves to validate your stories that nobody's got your back, that you can only rely on yourself. And when you feel your mind pushing you into the familiar darkness of fear, mistrust, resignation, defensiveness, collapse, anger, resentment, defeatism, antagonism. Positionality, aloneness, pause, breathe, send love and compassion to your mind. And then shift your focus a hundred eighty degrees to the sun. You can do that in your mind's eye, or you can use your hand to exemplify the pivot. First, having it turned behind you towards the metaphoric darkness, and then pivoting it 180 in front of you to the sun to gratitude and awe. 
to the bright light reflecting back your own heart. to the beauty right in front of you, to trust, surrender, love, which are the antidote to your mind's fears. You are held, supported, and guided always.